Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. Coming up later in the show, a wife's desperate plea to President Trump to free her husband, who's been in prison overseas for more than a year. I talked to her later in the show. Um, the Iranian government alleged that my husband didn't disclose his intention to do research in Iran, which is completely untrue. But first, not in my backyard, at least so say some of the residents in Rutherford, very unhappy about a sober living house right on their street. Allison Gormley has the full story in Rutherford. Allison, what do you got for us? Residents living on Preble Place in Rutherford, New Jersey, are upset that a sober home might be operating right on their street. Preble Place is a quiet, dead-end street, but the residents were not quiet at a recent town hall meeting about their concerns. Not only could this violate the single-family zoning rules, but many said they're also concerned about their safety. Before the meeting, a resident passed out this flyer to those on the block. It warns of two recent car break-ins and suggests the home could be a sober home. Another resident who didn't want to go on camera said she recently had a package stolen from her porch. First time in 38 years, a police officer came down and told me, in 38 years, this has never happened, make sure you lock all your doors because we have a problem. It has always been a tremendous block. Safe, kids used to ride up and down the block, neighbors, everybody looked out for each other. Never a problem until recently. I stopped by the house in question and spoke with the person who answered the door. He said that he will not discuss the matter in order to protect the tenants' identities. I also called the Cornerstone Residence LLC, the name associated with the property, and left a message. According to Ralph, the matter is under investigation. The mayor and the council promised that they were going to look into this and see what the uh, legal ramifications are. We're hoping that at some point in time that house should be closed down. There is no evidence at the time to confirm the home is in fact a sober home or connected to any of the recent crimes. For Chasing News, I'm Allison Gormley. Thanks, Allison. All right, let's bring in our A-plus panel to break this down. Bob, I want to start with you. Uh, a lot of misinformation out there as far as what this facility actually is. It's not a rehab facility, certainly not a halfway house for criminals. It's a sober living uh, community, effectively, in a house. Yeah, it, it benefits society to make sure we have a holistic approach to drug treatment. I'm involved in boards of directors with regard to drug treatment. We just can't leave these people stranded. These are committed, dedicated people who have had a drug problem, that have gone through rehab, have successfully completed their programs. Maybe it's intensive outpatient programs. Program, maybe it's inpatient. They go to this place to have support, and if they violate the rules and regulations, if they test positive, they're thrown out. Hey, Laura, we do, uh, you know, we've done a lot of charity work with recovery groups throughout the state, and I, you know, I'm heavily involved in a lot of these organizations. Having said that, do the neighbors have at least a point because of some of the information out there? Uh, here's the point that they have. It's good that, that people in a neighborhood are looking to see what happens in their neighborhood. That's the end of the point. Mm -hmm. Because really, if we're not going to support these type of uh, organizations and living places, what exactly are we going to do? So why can't this be done at a community center? Well, it can be, but the question is, it's being done there. So my curiosity is, 60% of the drug addicts are in the suburbs, so why don't they want to see themselves in the halfway house? What I'm curious about is, where do they want these people to go? Newark? Because that's what happens a lot of times. They want them there. So that's all a very you, fair all, point. All so maybe that. this just comes down to a little better disclosure. It sounds to Let's me like a here. lot of people didn't know this was even going on. Yeah, but exactly, this is somebody exactly got pulled right. over. But Bill, exactly we have right. an obligation to make sure the neighbors know what's going on <laughs> in the their street. Got to leave it there.